In this training video, we're going to take a look at some of the basic setup that you should complete in your InCharge Life software prior to your live online training sessions. You should have already received a login to the software as a full administrator or owner. So when you log in, you should see full administrator or owner showing in the upper left hand of the menu on the left. This means you have full access to all of the components of the software. We're going to start by looking at the master information section. Master information is going to be located under settings and tools. Use the plus button on the left side of each menu category to open it up and be able to see the subcategories. Alternatively, if you click on the subcategory or the category, you will see the subcategories listed on the right. So you can either access them from the buttons on the right or from the menu on the left. We're going to start with master information. This page is where you're going to add your basic contact information for your facility. The company name should already be there, but ensure it's correct and the spelling is correct. Then make sure you add your address, city, state or province, make sure the country is correct, as well as your zip or postal code. And then ensure you have the correct time zone set. This is used so that your calendar appointments, when they're sent through email to clients, will be booked in their calendars at the correct time. Next, you can input your phone numbers, primary email address, your website if you have one, and then the website that you want your staff and or clients to log into. If you do not have one linked to your website, you can use the inchargelife.com login, which will be there by default. If you want to set up a login on your own website, you can use the login tab on the top right of the screen. If you click there, you'll be able to see the different methods that you can use to create a login on your own website. You can add a button with a link, or you can add login code. If you're unfamiliar with this, contact your web developer and have them create the login on your website. Again, this will create a username and password field that your staff or clients can then enter to access the software. Going back to the contact tab, tab once all that information is correct, next you can go over to the logo tab. Here you can upload your logo by choosing a file from your computer. This will upload the logo in the upper left of the screen. Next, you can either create slogan text, which will display in the center, or an image, such as this one, which again, you can choose a file from your computer, and it will display that image in the upper middle or upper left of the screen. Keep in mind that you may need to refresh or reload your cache of your browser for these new images to show. So even though you may have uploaded them in here, if they're not showing right away, don't worry about that. They will still be displaying for everybody else. You just need to refresh your cache on your own browser for it to display correctly. The other thing you can do on the master information section is your custom email setup. If this is left blank, emails that you send to your clients through the software will be sent through the InCharge Life server. So the email address they'll come from will be no reply at inchargelife.com. In which case, your clients will not be able to reply to those emails and they certainly will not get to you. If you want the emails to come directly to you, you need to enter your own server information. Now, there's a video you can watch that gives you detailed information on how to set that up. You just click on the button here to watch that video. Basically what will happen though is when you set up your email server, emails sent through the software will be sent through your outgoing mail server. So when your clients receive them, it will be from your email address and they will be able to reply directly to you. So you're gonna to wanna to use a somewhat generic email address. Something like sales at or info at or support at. And a lot of times it is best to set up a Gmail address to use for that as Gmail tends to be one of the better ones for doing this email relay system. 
Again, for detailed information though, watch the custom email setup help video. Additionally on this page, you can set up your custom welcome email. Here, you can enter the text that you want that will be sent to clients in their initial welcome email. The software will always put hello and then insert the client's first name. And then below that, you can create whatever text you'd like to send to your clients. And then at the bottom of the email, their username and the login link will be sent to them as well. That covers the various components of the master information section. Next, let's take a look at master preferences. Master preferences is where you're going to set up some of the basic access components for the software. So for example, if you have an existing invoice numbering system from your last software and you want to continue with that numbering system, enter the last invoice number you used here and then the InCharge Life software will continue from that number. Every new invoice generated will increase that number by one. If this is left blank, then the software will simply use a time and date stamp for each invoice. Barcode is very similar. If you're using a system where you want barcodes automatically assigned to clients, enter the last barcode that you used here, and then every new client that you add, it will add a new barcode increased by one. But if you're using key tags, where you're just scanning the key tag or entering the number in for each new client, then leave this field blank since you'll be entering a new barcode for each client anyway. Below that will be your default module options. This basically will show what level of access your clients will have to the software by default. This will be covered in your live training session. One thing to consider as well is what fields you want to be mandatory when you're setting up a new client. So right now, because these are all unchecked, there are no mandatory fields other than first name and last name when you're adding a new client. Checking any one or multiples of these will make those fields mandatory, meaning that the page when you're adding a new client cannot be saved until those fields are completed. The final thing we'll take a look at in this video is going to be adding staff. So for this, we're going to go under Manage Staff and Clients to the Staff Management page. To add a new staff member, you're simply going to click the Add Staff button in the upper right corner of the page. This will take you to a blank staff member that you can now create. The only information that you need to enter is their first name, last name, and email address. Then you can choose to either email the staff, which will then allow them to complete the rest of their contact information and choose a username and password of their selection. Or if you're with the staff member or want to select their username and password for them, click set up staff now and you can choose their username and password. Down below, you can fill in any of their contact information you wish. Down at the bottom of the page, you'll want to make sure that the staff member, if you're wanting to track them for their shifts on a time clock, you're going to want to assign them a barcode and check the time clock checkbox. This means when the staff comes in and checks into the club, instead of checking them in like a member, it will have the effect of starting their shift. When they scan their barcode again, that will end their shift, and the software will then track the time in between and you can then run a time clock report on any given date range for any or all of your staff to see what their total hours are. Finally on this page, you're going to want to make sure that every staff member has their own unique PIN code or sold by code. This will be used for any transaction in the software. That includes point of sale transactions or adding agreements for clients or certain other things like cancelling agreements as well. The PIN code is valuable because it prevents your staff from having to log in and log out every time they want to do a transaction. Instead, you can have one person or a generic login, and then the staff is simply entering their PIN code for every transaction, and the software will make that mandatory. That way, you know exactly which staff member completed which transaction.
It's best to make sure that the staff members are the only ones that know their PIN code and make sure they understand that they should be the only ones that ever know that PIN code and not to share it with other staff members. The other thing that's going to be important for your staff before you save this page is to go to the configuration tab. Now in this case you can see it won't let me change tabs because I haven't filled in the first name and last name yet which are mandatory fields. So we'll put some basic information in here and then we'll click on the configuration tab. Now the important part of this page is going to be first of all setting their gender and then also their rights or access level to the software. By default, they will just be given general staff rights, which is a very limited access to the software. You're going to want to choose what their role is in the club and use that to determine their access level. So if they're a front desk staff, you would simply uncheck general and then check front desk. This will then give them access to features such as the point of sale and check-in, but not allow them access to more of the monetary features or a lot of the reporting in the software. For more detailed information about that, you'll find out during your live training session. That's how you set up staff members in the software. So if you're comfortable with these things, the master information, master preferences, and adding staff, then you're ready for doing your first live training session.